In our last few days in Alberta, we got to explore some really beautiful places. Tell them all that you had seven minutes in heaven with Devin. <laughs> We kept exploring our passion for summits and climbed many mountains. This one was definitely my favorite, hands down. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning. We're How off to get breakfast. Oh, this is a lizard. This mm. is our hostel. We're going to Tim's instead of making peanut butter sandwiches today because we're sick of that. We also don't have any bread. We stayed in different hostels throughout our trip in Alberta and I would definitely recommend it to other budget travelers who are looking to save money and meet really cool people. We have a little freight train thing here. Oh, it's just starting to move. We could technically climb on this, Michelle. And just go for a free ride. To where? I don't know, wherever it takes us. Make an adventure. We weren't sure if we were going to be able to catch a beautiful sunrise because it was kind of cloudy that morning, but I think it's safe to say that we caught a really beautiful one, regardless of the clouds. I mean, look at this view. We then headed to our next destination and decided to take stops along the way to take pictures as well, of course. One thing I have to note about road trips in Alberta is the road itself is actually so beautiful that you never feel like you're on the way. It might sound cliche, but sometimes the journey ends up being even more beautiful than the destination. This was our first stop. It was called Athabasca Falls and we had read a lot about it on the internet before coming. Although it was pretty cool to see the roaring waters and it had two different viewpoints from above and below, I'd have to say that this definitely wasn't my favorite part of our trip on that day, but I guess definitely something you'd want to go to and see um, if you're looking to hit all the famous tourist destinations. On our way to our next destination, we noticed that there was different trails along the way and so we decided to stop and check one out. That's how we ended up at the Lac Beauvert Trailhead and I have to say this was an absolutely beautiful trail. So we spent some time there and hung out and enjoyed the beautiful views for a while. As if the trail wasn't beautiful enough, there was also a rainbow up in the sky, we were surrounded by mountains, there was a river on one side, and a beautiful, beautiful lake on the other side. The water is so clear! Seriously, the water was really clear. <laughs> Although it was hard to part from such a beautiful trail, we had to get going to make it in time for our next destination. So you guys can go home and tell all your friends that you went on Draft to Sky Town or you can tell them all that you had seven minutes of heaven today. <laughs> big old boulder in the shape of a triangle and that is Pyramid Mountain there. Pyramid Mountain is the tallest peak we have in the town of after reaching the end of the Sky Tram, we had about another hour to hike up to the tip of the mountain, which was the Whistler's Peak. What I found really fascinating was that there was still snow up on the mountain, and we went around the end of August, so usually in Toronto, where I live, it would be really, really hot. And even though I see snow all the time in Toronto, it was just really cool to see it at this time of year.
but it's shorter, so less, less time in the snow. It's like 33 degrees in Toronto when I'm trekking through snow on the other side of Canada. When we finally reached the tip of the mountain, it was really cold and really windy. But it was cool because we could see the other side of the mountain that we couldn't see when we were coming up the tram, and it was just all these mountains filled with snow. People had also built these little statue things with rocks, and it was a pretty cool sight to see. Here's the picture I was taking in that picture. Pretty cool, right? And of course we had to get a picture together, but my GoPro kept falling because of the wind, so it was pretty funny. After spending some time on Whistler's Peak, we made our way to our next destination, and this one was my favorite. The views on this route were also so beautiful, mountains alongside us, rivers alongside us, it was just breathtaking and I couldn't get over it. So the Wilcox Pass took us about 4 hours to reach the end and it was not an easy hike but I saw people with children and their dogs doing the hike so I'd say it's definitely doable if you have enough motivation. My camera wasn't working at this hike unfortunately even though it was my favorite part of the entire trip so I had to do with lots of pictures on my camera and that's why I don't have too many videos of this location. Anyways, the trail leads up to the mountaintop where you can see the Columbia Icefield which is another really popular attraction. After our hike, we took some time to re-energize and we decided to go to a planetarium that night and go stargazing. Gotta check in at this lodge first. Look at this star right here. Hey, and then look at this other star right here. <laughs> look at all these I even have so more. The planetarium might be really cool for people who are into space and astrology, but honestly, I didn't really find it that interesting. But that's just me. Except for this ball thing, which was really cool because the light just kept attracting to the fingers when I would put my hands on it, so I don't know what it was called, but this was pretty fun to play with. The next day we headed to Edmonton for our flight and we had to say goodbye to Alberta and I was not ready. I did not want to leave, but those 10 days in Alberta were definitely amazing. Did I convince you to go to Alberta? Let me know.